Okay, so now in this question, uh, we have one differential equation. You can see that here. And uh, it is said that you have to solve this differential equation by something called as Taylor series method. So we'll apply Taylor series method. And if you will see that there are some initial conditions given, okay, those are x naught is equal to zero and y naught is equal to 0 0.2. And then there is one more question, find approximate value of y for x is equal to 0 0.4. So before starting this question, uh, let me explain this a little bit. So when you say dy by dx, okay, uh, it is this, it is like this. X is your uh, independent variable and Y is a dependent variable. This is X and this is Y. We are familiar with this, right? Now, in this case, we know that when X is zero, X is equal to zero is this point. The value of Y, the value of Y is this vertical value, right? the value of y is going to be 0 0.2, okay? And that's like one condition is already given to you. And for Taylor series method, we can make a use of this condition and we can solve this. Now just see how we solve this. Uh, this is the standard expression for Taylor series. Let me write down the expression of Taylor series. Just remember one thing that you sometimes write this as a y, or y is exactly same as f of x. What I'm trying to say is whether you write f of x or you write y, it's the same thing, okay? Just can make a note of that point. Now let me write down the standard expression of a Taylor series. It is like this, uh, y is equal to, we start with y naught, okay? That's the initial value, plus x dash, uh, plus x y naught dash, plus x square upon two factorial y naught double dash plus the next one will be x cube there is a series right so you can always imagine x cube after x square will be x cube x cube over three factorial and y triple derivative naught and so on now that's a taylor series all right so now what we have to do is uh, from this equation here if you see this equation uh, we will replace this dy by dx as y prime or you can say y dash okay and this y dash is equal to 1 plus xy now i just want you to understand that we already have a y0 or y0 as 0 0.2 okay this i get it because it is given over here you can see that here okay now uh, next thing that i want here is y naught dash okay so i already have y dash so if i have to find out y naught dash okay i have to put uh, x is equal to x naught and mind you x naught value is zero and y is equal to y naught and y naught's value is 0.2 so y naught dash which is this value here okay that will be equal to one will remain as it is uh, x will become x naught and x naught is zero right so this is going to be zero and y will become y naught so this is zero into point two of course this term will be zero and then you'll get y naught dash is equal to one that's the answer that we got all right so now once you get this uh, we have to just keep keep on solving like this uh, once again, you differentiate with respect to x, okay? So if I differentiate this with respect to x, I'll get the derivative of y dash, which is already y dash, it'll become y double dash, is equal to, the derivative of one will be zero. And for this term, you will do u into v rule. So x into y, if you were to differentiate, x remain as it is, u v rule, right? Uh, the product rule. So x remains as it is, the derivative of y is y dash. And then next will be y remains as it is and derivative of x is just going to be one. Okay. Now, once we do that, if you got y double dash, now in this equation also, you put x is equal to x naught, x equal to x naught and x naught is zero and y is equal to y naught and y naught is 0.2. So you'll get this as y double dash naught. Now from this equation, you will have to write down the y double dash will become y double dash naught right equal to uh, the first term has got x right and the x value becomes zero so this the, the first term was already zero then this term will also this term will also become zero okay 
and then this y term will become y naught i hope you are following this the value of x naught is going to be zero anyways so this term became zero this was already zero so what remains is just this y term okay and the y value we are substituting as y naught and which is essentially 0.2 okay so let's now write it down properly this is going to be 0.2 again so y double dash naught is also 0.2 right and let's let's do a one more uh, differentiation here if i once again differentiate this with respect to x i will get this as y triple dash that's the third derivative of y double dash we differentiate one more time so it becomes y triple dash and then you will again use product rule for these two and then differentiate y okay let's use the product rule here so it becomes x y double dash plus y double dash as it is derivative of x is going to be 1 and uh, that's u into v, uh, the product rule over here, and this will become y dash, right? And now, once again, you do the substitution, x equal to x naught, which is zero, and uh, y equal to y naught, which is 0.2, okay? Now, once you do that, you will get y triple dash naught is equal to, well, the first term has x, and the x value will become zero anyways, the first term becomes zero, this term is gone, y dash, will become y is y naught so y dash has to be y naught dash i hope you get that oh it's it's y dash and y dash i can simply add them right so now this will become uh, y dash naught plus y dash naught which is 2 y dash naught okay y dash 0 whatever you call it and then this is 2 and y dash 0 is over here can you see that y dash of 0 is 1 so i'll put that one here okay so i'll get this as one so two times one is going to be just two so i got y triple dash zero is equal to two okay i'm sure you can imagine that i can just like keep on going like this okay but we don't we we, we can really stop after we get to the third iteration i think it is good enough and all these values that you see over here all these values if you see y zero y dash of zero y double dash of zero y triple dash of zero y triple dash of zero third derivative of y and the initial value is so all that means is equal to two so we have all these values right and we can substitute them here so let's just substitute all the values over here okay all these values here and then let's just let's just call this equation as say let's say a which is nothing but taylor series so uh, from equation a okay we will get this as y equal to let's put the values uh, y not the value of y not is 0.2 this is 0.2 plus this is x y not dash will be 1 plus x square upon 2 factorial y not double dash is going to be 0.2 this is 0.2 plus x cube upon 3 factorial y naught triple dash is going to be 2 so this is 2 and so on and so forth so this is basically an expression that we have got all right so uh, this is the expression for y which is written in terms of uh, the powers of x and i hope you can understand as you go further away from here it becomes it becomes lower and lower it gets smaller and smaller once that happens, uh, the next thing you will do is, uh, so we, we actually found out the solution. Now this y here itself is the solution. And this solution is of the differential equation that is given to us over here. Okay. But then uh, if you see the last line, we are supposed to also find out the approximate value of y when x is equal to 0.4. So now from this, you have to find out y when x is equal to 0.4 i'm sure you can imagine how we will do this if you have x is equal to 0.4 you already have an equation of y that is in terms of x just replace all x by 0.4 okay so let me write this it is going to be the uh, 0.2 plus 0.4 okay that is the value of x that i replaced over here and then this will be 0.2 the whole square sorry 0.4 the whole square divided by 
टू फैक्टोरियल टाइम्स पॉइंट टू एंड देन पॉइंट फोर द होल क्यूब डू सी दिस विल नंबर विल बी वेरी वेरी स्मॉल सो इट विल रियली नॉट मैटर सो मच अपॉन थ्री फैक्टोरियल टाइम्स टू एंड सो ऑन ओके एंड द सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ दिस टर्म आई विल लीव इट टू यू जस्ट एड दीज टर्म्स एंड यू विल गेट द फाइनल आंसर and this will be value of y when x is 0.4 based on the solution we have got we've got this solution and based on this solution we know that the value of y at x equal to 0.4 will be so much that is the sum of all these numbers okay taylor series is one of the technique of solving a differential equation so originally if you see that we we have a differential equation over here okay do you see this is a differential equation and we have actually used this whole taylor series uh it's a, it's a power series right so we have used the taylor series and using taylor series we have actually got the solution of the differential equation and i hope you followed this is one of the method all right